From the cover of this software box, I would assume that might actually be Mavis Beacon. This is Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing version 2.0 for Macintosh. Back in my day, and I'm only 29, learning typing was a rite of passage for most middle school aged children, and I was one of them. I learned to type on a Macintosh Classic, and the program that I used was a program called Type with an exclamation point. I don't really know exactly who made the software or what version it was, but I do know that we were running, I believe it was Mac OS 7.1, and uh, we were typing on a black and white screen, 9 inch diagonal screen, with a full size QWERTY keyboard. Unfortunately, children today don't seem to have that um, due to budget cuts and, and other issues. Most public ed educational institutions no longer teach typing. I can't understand why. But Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing was a very popular program that was available to not only consumers but to public education and private educational institutions as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this. I, I forgot I even had it. It was sitting in my software pile for, oh, God, I don't know how long. But I have the box, the original box, and the contents. Let's take a look at the contents. It says disk one. I don't know how many disks are supposed to be in this box, but if we're missing one, then I guess I'm screwed. I think I can still download it, though. Let's take a look. I wonder if I ever tried installing this in anything. But I've got this Mac 2 CI sitting here, just sort of doing nothing. So Let's take a look at the manual and see if it refers to any other disks. Oh, wait, here we go. User's Guide. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't seem to uh, talk about it. it. Requires three megabytes of hard disk space and 1.5 megabytes of RAM. Wow. <laughs> my my, how times have changed. So let's pop the disk in. I think that floppy drive still works. <laughs> I know I had some issues uh, previously which prompted the replacement of the drive. So let's hope it works. If I am ever to anticipate actually typing, I'm going to have to use a tripod, which is something that I am... It's against my religion. I am part of the uh, very... Um, exclusive religious group, the you know, tripodites. Um, we, we really dislike the use of tripods in our videos. It's a video religion. In all seriousness, I don't like tripods because they seem to get in the way. Um, so here we go. What am I doing? I'm looking in the wrong... I'm looking for software in all the wrong places. Anyway... Install, please. Well, the drive seems to work. Now, one thing that sparked my attention, um, the Macintosh requirements are a Mac Plus or higher, um, but the disk is actually a high-density floppy diskette. So if you have a Mac Plus, it will run. You do need at least one and a half megabytes or one megabyte of RAM, and you do need an external hard drive. So keep that in mind if you intend to run something like this on a Mac Plus. Luckily for the 2CI, that is not a problem. 
because the 2CI is just a great machine. One of the greatest, in fact. Alright, let's eject that disc. Okay, put that away. Don't want to lose it. Don't want it to go bad. And let's go ahead and run Mavis Beacon 2.0. I'm going to get a tripod, so at least I can demonstrate the software for you without uh, making a fool out of myself. Ooh, I hear noise. New for Macintosh with brilliant 256 color graphics. Nice. Just for proof, I do own a tripod and here it is. I just don't like using it. I, I just, I hate setting it up, I hate taking it down. It just really messes up with my, 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 my chi. Or my, um, my, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Insert new agey phrase here. Um, I just hate them. They, they just, they mess me up. They're always in the way. And they require work. I hate work. I just got out of work. All eight hours of it. And I just don't want to do more work. It means I have to plan things out. I don't do that, guys. All right. Let's start the drill. Click on this button to start lesson. Alright, stop it. Let me play the damn game. There we go. This is it. Alright, so I have to type all this out now. I don't know if you guys can read that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, I'm killing my time now. Crap. Alright, here we go. Um, is this doing... Oh, it's, it's still in demo. End demo. There we go. Okay, enroll. First name. I'm going to use my full legal name. Oops, PCM. Last name. YouTube. That is my full legal name. Um, and as a matter of fact, if you're trying to steal my identity, I'll give you my social security number. Are you ready? Write it down. Zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So go ahead and open up a credit account under my full legal name, B Bishop PCM YouTube. And again, my social security number. Zero zero one two three four five six seven. And my mother's maiden name is um, uh, Jones. And uh, I live at one two three Main Street, anywhere USA. So write that down. And we're going to continue. Um, my age, I am less than nine. And my skill level is beginner. And we are using a QWERTY keyboard. I'm going to do a 30 minute practice. Target speed, 15 words per minute. Here we go. <coughs> I don't need to tour the keyboard. But I'm going to anyway because I want to show you all of the amazingness that is. Mavis B can teach us typing. Type in A. Type in S, D, I think I know F is next, space, F, D, S, A, space, type in A. I'm actually, I'm using the uh, proper, you know, uh, stance, if you will. Type in S, space, D, space, F, space, A, oops, D, whoops, D. D, oh, wrong finger. D, S, F. This is so exciting. Did you know I actually spent a great deal of time doing exactly this in middle school? And you know something? It sucked. It wasn't fun. I do not wish to try again. I think I'm ready for the lesson. Thank you. It was terrible. It was absolutely the most mind-numbing activity, but you know something? It improved my typing skills 
greatly. So much, in fact, that I'm going to type so poorly. Oops. Oops. A-D-A-S-A-D. This was an activity that people did in the 90s and 80s. And um, it was... Uh, there was no texting. I mean, this was it. This was your closest equivalent to texting, and um, there were no cell phones back then. In 1995, when I did most of my typing lessons, um, because in 1993, 92, 93, and 94, I was using Apple IIs because I had a very um, conservative school district. We didn't like spending money on equipment. Um, which is funny because most of the equipment was older than we were as students. Um, you know, the Apple IIe, the 2GS, those are the two workhorses of my school district growing up. Actually, I, I really lived in a, in a fairly affluent community, and um, they were just very conservative. They didn't like to spend money. Um, so anyway, uh, when I hit middle school, we had Mac Classics, which at the time were about six years old. And... Um, we didn't have any Mac Pluses. It was all Mac Classics. A lot of, a lot of, um, what were those? Those pizza box looking things. I used to have a few. Oh yes, the LC2 series. We had a bunch of those. It was around that time that the Macintosh LC575s, um, the, uh, what else did we have? The, Quadras, no, the LC 575s and the Macintosh uh, Power PCs were just beginning to come out. So we had a few of those in our middle school, but nobody was really allowed to use them. In all seriousness, the better technology was only used by the teachers. The students got the crap. And um, so I spent most of my time just using, um, you know, classics and. Uh, I don't want to quit. Actually, what I want to do, I think this particular game has different games you can play. Yeah, I want to see if it does. Let's see. I don't want to quit, per se. Gadgets. No, that's just guide hands, clock. Can I do a new student or delete student? I'll just, you know what I'll do? I'll quit the program. And we're going to reopen it. <laughs> That's it. It doesn't have, um, well, all right. Th there's a later version that I used um, in 1998. Or was it 97? My middle school actually went to a PC form. They actually got rid of all the Macs in the building, and they went strictly PC in that in that area. And or they began the phase-in process for PCs, which, by the way, they still use to to this very day. They still are a PC district. Um, but that having been said, we were um, learning how to use the new Windows boxes, which were Windows NT. This was brand new. Brand new stuff. Uh, Windows NT 4.0. And uh, yeah, this had to have been in 97. And um, we were using a version of Mavis Beacon for Windows that actually had different activities that we could play. And it made typing a lot more fun. There was one activity that I enjoyed. It was the. It was designed to teach numeric keypad use. And the scenario was you're a you were working at checkout counter in a grocery store, and you had to enter the prices as they appeared on screen. And that's how I learned how to use a numeric keypad properly. Uh, but they had race car games. You know, you could actually drive your car. The faster you typed, the faster the car moved. It was terrific. Um, and that made it a little more entertaining. It wasn't as monotonous as this program is. Um, let's take a look at the copyright date. 1988-92. Uh, um, so this is quite old. Uh, I mean, you can really tell by the lack of PowerPC uh, requirements. And um, 
obviously designed for the classic versions of the Macintosh. But this is old stuff. This is probably the second version, judging by the version 2.0. Um, I almost made a blunder there. I caught myself while I was uh, about to do that. So let's go ahead and just end the demo here, and we're going to go ahead and exit. Yeah, I think I want to leave the program. Thank you. It's been it's been really fun. What other crap do I have on this computer? That was uh, that was. Um, ooh, here's a good one. Microsoft Word. Let's take a look at what Microsoft Word looked like back in the old days. While we're here, while we're recording, while the tripod's out, if you will, we'll take a look at Microsoft Word 6.1 for Mac. 6.01 actually, and. Um, this is some seriously old stuff. 1995 is when this came out. This would have been the Mac equivalent to Office 95 or Word 95. I think I've already done that for you guys, actually. We did a quick tutorial. Um, I wonder what's in here for, for graphic objects. Clip art was a big deal in these days, and. Um, and I think Word had a whole library of clip art. But they don't have that anymore. They pretty much got rid of it. This is Bear Market. I'm going to go through the list here. Bird. Books. Bull Market. Oh, so I get it. Bear Market, Bull Market, I see. Checkmark, Cityscape. I mean, really classy stuff. Coffee, Compass. If you're really looking for some entertainment, take a look at the Word 97 clip art. If you guys ever uh, find a copy of Word or Office 97, the clip art included in that version is phenomenal. Um, very good, very very good stuff. Classy too, you know, real classy, real nice. Um, when Microsoft Office 2000 came out, I think they, they, I didn't like what they did to the clip art library. It just ruined it. Um, Anyway, so I think that'll be it for now. We'll conclude this video with a screensaver. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up After Dark. And we're going to run a screensaver for you. Let's take a look at uh, Satori. Let's see what that one does. Oh, that is wild. That is cool. Look at that. Isn't that the most awesome thing you've ever seen. You can even change the colors. Let's try Hawaii. Oh wow. I'm in heaven. Camelot. Oh yeah. That right there. That's that's good stuff. Waves. Ooh. You know, I could just crank the stereo, put this on my projector, and just mellow out for hours just watching this. No alcohol needed. You should know that I don't drink, ever. I, I really don't. Maybe once a year. I might have, like, a shot for New Year's, and that's it. But if I did drink a lot, this would be on screen all the time. Just saying. See, that was the tripod getting in my way. I moved my hand, and it just got in my way like that. I don't like that. That really drives me crazy. Well, thank you for wasting your time with me the past, I don't know, what, 15, 16 minutes or so? I'll shut her down. And I'll see you on the other side.